It's kind of like the traditional rivalry. They, they call it the Highway One rivalry, just about 10 minutes south of Mount Vernon. I uh, play them in every sport since I was fifth grader. And, uh, you know, we definitely had our battles throughout high school and you know, football, wrestling, track and baseball. So uh, it's definitely a special rivalry. I mean, Sol and Mount Vernon's a huge rivalry. Uh, that gets the fans excited back home. Uh, they haven't beat us for a couple years. It's been, let's see, what is it, 19 now? But yeah, that's, that's a long standing record that we take a lot of pride in at Solon. I was kind of a tweener in high school. I think a lot of college coaches recognize that. Um, you know, I was a little bit bigger for high school safety and maybe didn't quite have the speed to be in the back end in, at this level. So um, it just took a program that, you know, could kind of see my future as a linebacker, I guess. And, um, you know, that's kind of played out here and I'm, I'm really fortunate to be here. I remember when he committed to USD. Um, he's a great football player uh, and he's great football player in college too. I also think it's pretty cool just for Eastern Iowa. Uh, I think seeing guys from our conference and, and from so close together, you know, do pretty well at this level, I think is a cool thing for that area. And I'm definitely excited to get to play against him this week. So this will be the first time we've played uh, against him, or I've played against him. Um, so yeah, it'll be a Solon Mount Vernon rivalry now. Again, two weeks back to back. It's really cool to have two guys again uh, that are from really close high schools. And that just kind of shows like the output of great talent we've had in that area for a long time. Like I said, I think it's cool seeing a guy right from my home area uh, doing well at this level. This is a big game. This is a huge game too. Um, it's, it's another rivalry game like you said and both teams are going to be going at it.